What is up guys, welcome back to yet another After Effects tutorial. We are going to have a fun tutorial today because we are going to learn about liquid animation. But first, <sighs> let's have a drink and enjoy the video. So, liquid animations. It is one of the trendy motion graphics animations out there. I think people using this animation in video commercials or music videos and even on their website. So for today's video, we are going to break down into three parts, which is the first one will be going to be a liquid text and then going to be a liquid transition. And the final one will be going to mix up between the two and combine it into a liquid motion graphics. Right, so let's get jump right into After Effects. Okay, so here we now in After Effects. So we are going to create uh, four different composition. Let's create new composition. The type, liquid text, and then create another composition. Then create liquid um, transition. One. Uh, we're gonna create two different transitions. Okay. Create another one. They create transition two. And then for the final one, final motion graphics. So now let's create a text layer. You place it right here. Then go to the effects. Oh wait, oh, why is it here? Oh, let's just move it to the up. Let's just move this to the top. And let me adjust it right here. And here. All right. So um, let's create a shape first. You place it right here. Go to the effects and type triple this space and place it onto your sheet. Then look at this, you can see a uh, wavy edges. And you're gonna what you're gonna do is to play around with the effects control. Now, here you see that it's animating. Okay, so. Now um, let's make this alpha mat. And then let's create a fill layer onto the text and make it a purple. We go to shape. So now we're gonna animate this. Place it on the bottom. Move it for the time and then place up here. Then play around with the offset size and amount, size amount and complexity. Um, just it, whatever you want um, until it looks um, a little bit wavy, just like this. You can play around uh, as much as you want. It's up to your creativity. Then it's gonna look like this. Alright. Okay, now let's duplicate this. Let's duplicate this too. And go to the text. Move it up. And then move this shape layer onto the top. And then change this color to let's say pink. Okay. Then move it for the timeline, and there you have it. So let's look at another one and make it white. Again, the same thing. Uh, move the ship at the top, change the text color to white. And then we're gonna have the liquid, change the, the complexity, the offset, and the amount. 
make it a little bit different and then look something like this or just a little bit fast let's uh, tweak this go to the effects and make it easy ease I think uh, a little bit further it is good enough okay Alright, so now the, our text is done, uh, let's, let's copy this white text and place it down and there you have it. Alright, next we're going to move on to liquid transitions. So here we are now in the liquid transition composition. So let's create a shape and change the color to blue. Like this, and then shape, place it on here. And then make the turbulence to space. So like this. And just the size over here. And you can also change the offset. And can we animate something cool like this? So what you're gonna do? Move it out of the screen and move to towards the time. And let's make a copy and move it for the time. And let's change this to white. And move it a little closer like this. And change the amount so that it make the liquid more fluid and irregular. And change the complexity somewhere around 1.4. Let's play. Okay, this is good enough. Let's duplicate it again. And move it forward the time just a little bit, make it purple. Okay. Now, I think it's animating good enough. Okay. Well, next, I'm going to show you the second method of liquid transition. Okay, so for the next transition, we're going to create an irregular shape. Like this, make it color blue. And let's duplicate that, make it a different color, and position it uh, on the right side or anywhere you want, it's fine. Then um, let's zoom in for a bit. What you're gonna do is to press shift to open a path. So this one will convert your shape into a keyframeable path so that you can morph into a different shape. So okay, so let's zoom out for a sec. And then let's create a new irregular shape. Let's create a new one. Can be as crazy as you want, doesn't matter. Then change the color into a pink. Let's make that blue appear on top. Then I'm gonna start off with animating this pink one to the left side. And, and this is a new trick I want to show you. Let's open. Let's open an expression, and then type loop out and continue so what it does is you it will loop all the way to the left side until it reaches to an end point so you then have to drag it all the way to the right okay then next um go to the Then for the second shape, um, let's make it. Uh, and then for the second shape, um, let's make that forward a little bit right here. And then animate it on the way to the top right, like this. Okay. And then we create a new expression. Make make that a loop out continue. Then let's play it. Oop, what's happening?
all right okay now for the third shape okay so for the blue shape I want the to animate from bottom right to top left so make an expression make that loop out continue okay nice so uh, after we apply the motion so let's play around with the turbulence displace effect just play around with the evolution the offset and the amount let's make that um, bigger then go somewhere like this and tweak it anywhere around this okay this is quite good and then apply the same thing to other shapes as well just play around with the evolution with the size and amount until you get somewhere like this and then for the next one let's combine everything into a single composition okay now for this final composition we are going to combine all the liquid text and liquid transition into a single liquid motion graphics so on the top left go to project then let's drag all these three into your timeline all right so let's play a bit let's see okay okay so let's create a copy for the liquid transition tool and then drag and drag forward to the time like this then copy the liquid text and the liquid transition one so let's make that uh, alpha map hmm, I think it doesn't end. oh there you go okay um, let's make that inverse I don't know which one so <laughs> I'm just playing around with it until I get oh, what uh, what internet animations okay so uh, so there you go so let's move that liquid text down here I just want to see where it goes so let's move that forward the time around 2 seconds Alright, I think it's cool enough. Just play around and after you finish all the animations and you want to make that last touch up by adding a drop shadow, so go to the effects and presets and type drop shadow then drag it onto your transitions. So make sure you adjust the distance and the softness um, around here and then make that 90% there you have it it's kind of have a 3d kind of effect <laughs> so dope so dope right and then there you have it, liquid motion graphics in After Effects. So that is all guys for today's video. I leave all the resources in the link description below so be sure to check that out. And if you like this video, be sure to give a like, thumbs up, and see you guys in the next video.